Hi guys, I am Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing Empowerment. I am going to be doing all of the water signs and air signs in one video. Hopefully, I have enough time on my video. I was trying to get all 12 signs done on one video and just timestamp them all, but that didn't happen. So let's go ahead and start with Scorpio. What messages do you have for Scorpio for the month of January 2022, please? Thank you. So more peace is coming to you. If you've been feeling like me, I'm a Scorpio. If you've been feeling like me all over the place in the year of 2021, then expect that some things are changing in, in 2022, especially in the beginning in January. There is going to be a crossroad, so to speak, that we are going to be going through and expecting more peace, more balance is what I am feeling. Yes, more connected to the universal energies. Um, also star seed connections and things of that sort. So if you've been wondering what's been happening with that, been feeling a little less connected, it's coming back and it'll be coming back strong is what I'm hearing. And then we have Ruby, which is all about following our passion, setting firm foundations within our home, our career, our relationships, our finances, all of that stuff. So if there's things that are in the way, spirit is going to be removing those out of the way. Keep sure, make sure that you're keeping in prayer. And setting intentions at this time for those things that you're wanting to manifest. Stay positive, but follow your passions by putting in creative time and energy into those things that bring you joy, happiness, peace, and things of that sort. A lot of you need to be putting more time and energy into meditating and prayer and setting intentions so that you can figure out what your next steps are, things of that sort. Uh, Spirit is ready to provide those things with you. And then uh, this is going to be a month of self-confidence, just pushing through any kind of insecurities or fears or doubts that you may have at this time and putting yourself out there, showing the world the real you, things of that sort. This may also be some sort of confidence that will be gained by finally having some sort of conversation with somebody or, um, you know, it could be a relationship. It could be somebody that you're working with or working for something of that sort, but building uh, confidence through conversations that you're about to have, because the next card is Lamar, which is all about communication, the throat chakra. So a lot of healing has happened to the throat chakra within the past I, I'm going to tell you, my whole past year was just crazy with my throat chakra, solar plexus, and third eye and crown. So you may have been going through that as well if you're a Scorpio. But this is talking about connection with communication. It may also be that your spiritual gifts and talents that you're supposed to be showing to the world at this time have something to do with communication and using your voice. And I'm hearing yes. So you may be an artist, somebody that sings or um, or somebody that's meant to be in front of the podium, somebody that does tarot readings like I do. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it's going to involve communication. Some of that communication may just be telepathic communications with these star seed energies, the angels, the ETs, beings of higher intelligence, or, or maybe just uh, telepathic communications that are coming in, or I shouldn't say telepathic, but communications that you're starting to understand from higher self. Yes, 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 they say. Which cards do I go to now? Thank you. What other messages do you have for all my Scorpios, please, for January 2020? Woo! Okay, where are they going? Next card is assess the situation. So there's a lot of things that you need to be putting into perspective at this time when it comes to pushing through your fears and doubts, when it comes to relationships, what your next step is with your spiritual path and things of that sort. So it's about taking a step back and looking at the big picture, seeing exactly what you need to do at this time. Prayer and meditation is going to be where it's at in January. If you're not praying and connecting and setting some, uh, some intentions on figuring out um, you know, from getting messages from spirit on what your next steps is, then you're probably going to be very confused in the month of January is what I'm fearing or hearing. But the next card is letting your fears dissolve. So again, what I was saying with this Ruby card about following your passions, you have to let go of any fears that you have or just push through them. It's easier to push through than letting go, right? So if we're talking about letting go, we usually end up holding on so long that the pain gets great enough that we have to do something about it. But this is saying we don't have to go through that kind of crap. Just allow yourself to be in the present moment. Don't, uh, you know, allow your fears or insecurities to get the best of you, but push through them. And the only way to push through them is just doing whatever it is that is causing you fears. But a full moon card is talking about something coming full circle. And then you also have another full moon, which is cool your emotions. So don't, don't allow these insecurities to get the best of your emotions, uh, keep you in fear so, so much that you're crying or overwhelmed or uh, just stress the F out or what have you. But it's also uh, referring to something with this communication. So if there's somebody that you're having communications with that you're fearing, um, you know, it's going to go sideways or that there's going to be some sort of rejection or abandonment. It's asking you to push through that fear, but keep your emotions calm. You know, don't allow your 
your insecurities to fl flare up your anger um, your sadness and things of that sort, but try to be present in the moments. Listen uh, with a good ear as well as asking that your words will be, be provided as you are speaking so that you're not overreacting or underreacting. Yes, yes, yes. But this is also a full moon in Aries card, which means something has come in full circle. So if you're like me, been working on listening skills uh, with your friends and family members and people you have relationships with, also, uh, you know, trying to hold back some things that I want to say or some things that I want to do. And I've really been doing very good with that with uh, uh, most of my friends and, and people that I've been around. So I feel really good about that. But in January, that's going to get even better is what they're saying. Again, we're at a crossroads and we're getting ready to step through that crossing, so to speak. And things are just going to get better, you know, because we've put in the work and we are building our self-worth, self-confidence. Yes, 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 they say. And then go for it. So whatever this is referring to for you, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's a, a new career or changing positions within a career. Maybe it's taking up a new course of study, something of that sort. Or maybe it's just sharing your gifts with the world. Whatever it is for you, it's asking you to make sure that you do that. And then let's see what they have for Scorpio in love in the month of January. I am stronger and more courageous because of you. Thank you for your support and unconditional love. I am forever grateful. So this could be somebody that you're in a romantic relationship with that is telling you this. Or maybe this is just uh, spirit letting you know that's how they're feeling or something of that sort. But I don't want to live my life without you. The very thought of it makes me anxious. So somebody's feeling nervous about whether or not the connection is going to work. And spirit's letting you know that that's the way that they're feeling. So maybe if they're not reaching out to you, that might be why. And then never doubt my love for you. It is infinite. Some of you may be twin flames or star mates or soul mates, not star mates, soul mates. But um, just know that they that you should not doubt the love that they have for you. Even if they're not communicating with you or um, they're not giving you very much of their time and attention, it doesn't mean that they don't love you. And then I need space to heal, to get to know myself better so I can love you the way that you deserve to be loved. You are worth it. Okay, guys, I hope that you got something out of your reading. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow. Let me know down in the comments if this reading resonates with you. I'm going to go ahead and move on to Cancer. Okay, guys, this message is going to be for all my Cancers for January 2022. I hope everybody's doing well. I was trying to get all the readings done on one video, all 12 signs, and it didn't work out that way. So I'm doing all of the water signs and air signs on this video. Hopefully, I can fit all of them on this video. If not, there will be a separate one for the air signs. But anyway, so for my Cancers, the first part that came out is trust the timing. Trust the way that you came in on you're not being passed up. You know, this is not a missed opportunity. Just know that there's divine timing at play with whatever it is that you was thinking about before this reading or whatever has been on your mind the most divine timing is at play there's not um you're not going to be passed up is what I'm hearing. You don't have to worry. Some of you are in a process of making amends with other people, feeling defenseless, feeling sorry, feeling as if you're unworthy or something of that sort. And maybe it's because there's things that need to heal from your past with people that you need to forgive or people that need to forgive you. Amends need to be made. So somebody may be coming towards you to make some sort of amends. I'm hearing yes, yes, yes. Or maybe you're going to get the um, inkling to make an amends with somebody and make things right. And I'm hearing yes. So Earth School is all about life lessons, soul growth, and um, setting for uh, things that will bring you to some sort of higher awareness or higher perspective of what's really happening in the world or what's really happening in your life. So this is going to be a month of challenges, uh, learning lessons that is going to help your soul to grow, help you to... to um, also, uh, be more heightened in your, in your spiritual sensitivities or spiritual gifts or what have you. And they're saying yes, but, um, they're also taking me back to this divine timing. So if you've been feeling like your gifts aren't opening up or, you know, it's never going to happen for you, it is now the time there, you, you know, it's, it's going to start happening. So just trust that there's still some lessons that need to happen so that your soul can grow. And as your soul grows and you gain a different perspective, that timing will become the right time. And then breath of the cosmos, thy will my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. This is asking you not to try to force any kind of outcome to happen, to just go with the flow of things, not to worry about how things are going to turn out, but just be present in the energies that you're feeling and what spirit is doing for you, what the angels in the universe is changing around for you. If they're moving things out of your life, be okay with it. Allow yourself to grieve and go through the, the motions of letting go of those things so that the new things can come in. Don't micromanage what the universe is trying to do for you. What other messages do you have for cancer, please? Love, romance, finance. Thank you. The next card is 
fluorite, which is about connection with your spirit guides. So just like I was saying, like some of you are going through these lessons so that you can, your soul can grow and that you can become more connected with your uh, spiritual gifts, but not just that, your spirit guides as well. So your spirit guides are wanting and wishing to speak with you at this time. So pay attention to any kind of repetitious visions that you're having, any kind of music uh, lyrics that you're hearing repeat over and over and over again. Those are, uh, you know, messages from spirit. Spirit doesn't always talk to us in an audible voice. Most of the time, that's not how it comes. So it comes from the internal voice that may sound like your own. So pay attention to what that is. If it's something of fear, dis discount it. It's not your spirit guides. It's not of love and light. So just know that that's some sort of distraction trying to get you. If it's of love and light, then pay attention to it. And that's one of the ways that you can get used to knowing what your spirit guides or angels or higher self is speaking to you. And then Aquamarine is about stepping into a time of courage, pushing through fears and doubts, allowing yourself to be present in these life lessons, being grateful for the lessons that you're going through because it's providing so much soul growth that it's going to help you to... Uh, be enhanced in your spiritual connections, whether it be with your guides or whether it be with spiritual gifts that you have or what have you. But it's also going to help you to speak your truth. Something to do with speaking your truth. And maybe that truth is with these uh, writing past wrongs that you have to do, saying I'm sorry or making amends to somebody or forgiving somebody for something that they've done wrong to you. Yes, they're saying. So this is a, a, a month of uh, connection as well as a month of soul growth. So let's see what kind of messages... They have in love for this month for cancer. The first card is, I think about you all day. I sometimes feel a bit obsessed. So if somebody's thinking about you a lot. I need space to heal, to get to know myself better, so I can love you the way that you deserve to be loved. You are worth it. What other messages do you have? Our telepathic bond is strong. I feel so deeply. I feel you so deeply. It's like you're always... They are whispering, I love you. Things will be okay. Just trust and believe. So somebody is really getting a lot of telepathic communications from you. Whether or not you're in this relationship with them or you're separated, it doesn't matter. There's a deepening of the connection telepathically. So just know that that's happening. You could be experiencing it too. And then you trigger me to see the things I couldn't see. I am working on healing these things so that I can be the best version of me. I hope that you guys got something out of your reading. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow. Let me know down in the comments if this reading resonates with you. Much love to you guys. This next message is going to be for all my Pisces 1234. Make sure to look that up on Sacred Scribes. But anyway, I hope everybody is doing well. This message is going to be for January 2022 for all my Pisces. So just know that you're good enough. If you've been feeling unworthy or put, processing through some sort of uh, emotional purge or going through letting go of, of those feelings of unworthiness or cutting cords with people that may have said th something to you that you weren't good enough or you'll never be good enough or what have you. This is saying that you are good enough and you're going to work through those things and you're going to come out on the other side feeling even more powerful, more in tune. I also feel a major expansion, expansion in the solar plexus. So you're going to feel more in your personal power at this time. This is a uh, time of a lot of people being in crossroads and uh, getting to the other side of that crossroad. So nothing is yet set in stone. This is all about uh, paving your own path, making your universe what you want it. So what is it that you want for your romantic life, your home life, your career? What kind of money do you want to make? What kind of travels and plans do you want to have? This is asking you to manifest your dreams into your reality by staying positive, acting as if you already have those things, visualizing the things that you want and feeling the emotions and the feelings that would come with those if you already had it manifested into your life. So this is saying you're the master of your universe. This is about manifestation and knowing that nothing is yet set in stone. It's all about you to create that universe for yourself. And then you're very close to achieving your goals. This is talking about achieving those things that you're wishing to manifest. You know, that's why nothing is yet set in stone. You know, it's up to you to manifest those things. So as you stay positive and you keep working on manifesting those things, some of these things are going to come into fruition. Some of these things may have divine timing at play, though. So if you're not getting the things when you think that you're supposed to get it, just be patient, wait. Divine timing is always at play, so we don't get things exactly when we want them, but exactly when we're supposed to have them. Yes, they're saying. Which cards do I go to, please? Thank you. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? Assess the situation. So this is referring to um, cutting cords with people from the past or some sort of energies that may have been holding you back or blocking you from feeling like you're good enough, building your self-confidence or what have you. So what cords you need to cut when it comes to people, places, things, energies, or what have you. Things that made you feel like you were unworthy. Um, work with Archangel Michael to see exactly 
what you need to cut cords with and then make sure that you're working hard to do that. I do have videos on YouTube that will help you with cutting cords. So make sure that you're taking the time to watch those. But this could also be about, um, you know, assessing what it is that you really want out of life you know making a list of the things that you want and then start writing i am affirmations like i am grateful to now have blank in my life or what have you but really taking a step back and looking at how far you've came where you still want to go and then working to manifest to receive those things that you still don't have yes 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 they're saying what other messages do you have for thank you so you got uh heart of courage and the throat chakra and it goes back to this feeling good enough thing so a lot of you are building your courage and confidence within the month of january working with archangel gabriel by your side is going to help you to have confidence courage communication and community so um aqua marine is one of those stones that is good to carry around or have by your bedside as you're working through these feelings of not being good enough and the triggerings that's going to come with it you know because people are going to trigger you to see your worth um and to realize that you are worthy of whatever um but communication is a really big thing at this time so maybe some of you um have conversations that you need to have with people or maybe there's telepathic communications that are coming in from your angels and guides at this time that you need to be more connected with and trust more in. And maybe that's, that's the communication that is helping you to achieve your goals, helping you to manifest those dreams and desires into your life at a rapid rate. And I'm hearing yes. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? Love, romance. Okay, you guys actually got three more cards. You got Diopace, which is about direction and following the direction of your heart. So your heart space is uh, very in tune at this time. So make sure that you're not listening to your ego, the head, the logic, the overthinking, and going with your those heartfelt feelings, heartfelt notions, or that gut instinct, intuition, whatever you want to call it. And then Blue Lace Agate is also about the throat chakra and communication. So a lot of communication this month for the Pisces. Yes, 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 they say. And then astral travel may be something for some of you that is happening this month or just traveling uh, to different places, uh, maybe taking some sort of small vacation or something of that sort. But travel is expected in the month of January 2022. Let's get some love messages for Pisces. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? Woo. You see so deeply into me, it scares me. I've never met anyone like you. You're so connected. You see all and know all. So somebody may be very, very gifted with their gift of clairvoyance and intuition, and they see everything about you, and it scares the hell out of you, or the opposite, vice versa. I want to start all over. I want to be the person that you want, desire, need. So you guys may be in separation, or maybe there's just been some sort of fallout, and somebody's wanting to start over, or maybe this is... You know, the way that spirit is just telling you it needs to start over. Do you know how amazing you are? I see it. I hope that you do too. So somebody feels like you're wonderful, amazing, brilliant, uh, what have you. And then, uh, I bent the card. I love you still. I want you still. I hope that you guys got something out of your reading. Much love to you. Thank you for being here and being a support. If you... Uh, could, could please like, share, and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments if this reading resonates with you. Help this channel to grow. I greatly appreciate it. Much love to you guys. Okay, guys, this message is going to be for all my Geminis. I hope everybody is doing well at this time. I'm doing great. Oh, two cards right away. So breathe through the tension. There may be some tension in January 2022 um, that you're needing to just sit back and relax and try to just let things process. Try not to force any kind of outcome to happen, but just go with the flow of what spirit is doing for you. And then speak your world into being is about manifesting. So uh, speak and act as if you already have what it is that you want to manifest. Tell people um, how it is that you feel about them. Maybe it's time to make amends with some people, but speaking whatever it is into existence is what it's talking about. But breathing through the tension of how it is to get there. So make sure that you're just taking the time. Uh, nothing is a race. Just do it as you feel led to do whatever it is. But really, it's it's about manifesting right now. I was told to take this card and then shine. This is all about shining your light, shining your wisdom, giving your knowledge and love and light to the world in whatever way, shape, or form you feel led to do that. Um, this may be about, uh, you know, whatever it is that you're manifesting into your reality. Maybe it's a dream career or something of that sort. And, you know, you need to shine in whatever it is that you do. 
So that could be what that's referring to. Also, some of you are light workers. Most of you are probably light workers if you're watching this channel, but light workers and you're meant to um, help and improve other people's life by shining your light, being the light that you know that you can be so that people are attracted to you, get the information that they need from you and so on and so forth. Um, but let's see what else they have to say. What else do you have for all my Geminis, please? Thank you. Seraphonite is all about taking an honest look at your life. What people, places, and things, uh, situations, codependencies do you have, addictions, uh, negative thought patterns you need to let go of at this time. This is also about connection with the third eye and heart chakra. So uh, maybe there's some sort of balance coming between the intuition and the heart and how to follow the intuition and the heart and not the logic and the thinking. Yes, yes, yes. So make sure that you're really... Uh, processing through any kind of motives that you have when you're doing things and stuff of that sort is what, what else I'm feeling. But I was asking you to take a look at how far you've come and realize that you're worthy of all of the things that you're manifesting and speaking into your world at this time. A lot of rapid manifestation, guys. And even though you're manifesting rapidly and that feels good, there's going to be some sort of challenges that come with those things. So just know, you know, it's going to be okay, though. The next card is Chastolite. So uh, connection with past loved ones is what this card is referring to. And some of you may uh, be a medium and connecting with these deceased loved ones so that they can guide you at this time. Or maybe it's just something that needs to be healed. 2-1-2-2. Two, two, two. For whatever reason, I was told to tell you that. But this is also a card of the root chakra and setting firm foundations within your family. Um, some of you are having to tell people about being a medium and start starting to share that gift with the world. And that may be bringing some tension on with judgments from family members and friends and things of that sort. But they're still saying to speak your world into existence. Don't be afraid to hold your, um, to let your light shine and not hold yourself back. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. They say, what other messages? Thank you. Woo. And then you got Sarah, uh, Serafina, which is all about a new addition being in, being brought into your family. So this could be a family member coming back or maybe even a friend that has been gone for a while that you consider to be family and they're coming back into your reality. 2211, look that up on Sacred Scribes. But um, this is referring to some sort of addition. It could be a grandchild, a niece, nephew. It could be you uh, being uh, pregnant or getting pregnant or something of that sort or somebody that you know in the family. <clears throat> and then Desiree is talking about conditions aren't favorable. So this may be that something isn't favorable with switching a job or a position or uh, starting your own career or maybe going into a certain relationship or something. But it's asking you to just take the time to sit back and relax and look through, uh, you know, see what it is that you're missing. And, you know, when the timing is right, you'll be getting the guidance on moving forward in whatever the situation is. Let's get you guys some love messages real quick. Oh, that was fast. I want to start all over. I want to be the person you want, desire, need. So some of you may be in separation or going through some sort of turmoil with the person that you're in love with or thinking about at this time. And they're saying that they want to start over. There's something very unique about our connection. I recognize your energy. We are soulmates or twin flames. So somebody's recognizing that this, this connection is a lot deeper than what they seen it as before i see signs daily reminding me to stay positive 11 11 1 2 3 4 3 3 3 4 4 4 5 5 5 etc so a lot of synchronicities and then i dream about you often it is sometimes so intense i wake up feeling like it was so real i met you in the etherics or the astral so astral traveling with your soulmate or twin flame is what i'm getting from that I hope that you guys got something from your reading. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below so that I know that you are helping this channel to grow. And as well, let me know if it resonates with you. Much love to you guys. Hi, guys. This next reading is going to be for my Libras for January 2022. I wish these cards would quit going on before. It's wasting a lot of my time. Okay, inner earth. You'll survive this. New solutions and new beginnings. So this is about some, some sort of... Something that you've been going through, some sort of solution coming to it, uh, an ending of a cycle of some sort. Yes, they're saying so it could be with anything, a job, career, relationships, your finances. Maybe you've been healing something and finally it's it's uh, been healed. 24-24, look that up on Sacred Scribes. And then the season Mantaka is about seeing your potential, something becoming uh, a potential um, better situation even, bringing the unconscious to light. 
um, the shadow side uh, being brought to light. So somebody may be processing through the shadow side of this well this time as well is what I'm hearing. I'm told to take this card. And then Lost Lands. This is all about memories of your soul gifts, how to use them, how to bring them forward into the world and knowing that you've done this before. So this is telling me that you guys are an old soul. If you're watching this, you're an old soul. Somebody that's lived many lifetimes and is meant to uh, be here to use your gifts to help this planet to evolve at this time. It is the time. And then keep your heart open. This is keeping your heart open to change. Maybe this is with a uh, romance career, a new romantic partner. Um, it could be anything, but it's right underneath there's solutions that are coming, new beginnings and new solutions. So just know that something is coming full circle. Something is going to get better. What other? Thank you. Talk less, feel more. This is about the energetic part of you, that empathic part of you that needs to feel more and not, not worry about it, not speak negative things into his existence, but feeling with your heart and um, allowing yourself to be present in the emotions that you're feeling about whatever it is that you're keeping your heart open to, whether it be a career, a relationship, a, a new beginning of some sort or what have you. And it's something about somebody sees a lot of potential in you as seeing your gifts for what they are, giving you praise and worship or what have you. Not really worship, but praise um, and being grateful for the gifts that you have. And it's asking you to feel those emotions that or that energy that people are, are, are giving to you so that you can see your worth. What other messages do you have for the Libras, please? Love, romance, finance, ascension messages, messages from spirit or higher self. Thank you. And then you have release control. So there's something that you need to release control over. It may just be um, these uh, new beginnings that are happening for you. A lot of times when new new things are happening and we're not being completely open to change, we want, we want to try to control the way that spirit or the universe gives them to us because we're afraid of failure or success or what have you. And it's saying, don't do that. <laughs> So 2636, I'm not sure why they told me to tell you guys that one, but look it up on Sacred Scribes. But a lot of new beginnings happening for you guys, especially when it comes to your soul memories of gifts that you have and how to use them. Let's get you some romance cards. Oh, that's a lot. I'm not taking all those. Uh, 1111, I am experiencing a spiritual awakening. I recognize you as my twin flame or soulmate. So some of you may be a twin flame or getting into a relationship with a soulmate. I can feel your energy when we are apart. Can you feel mine too? Give me a couple more cards for my Libras, please. I want to make love to you. I long to feel your body touch mine. And I am done fighting. Can we figure a way to work this out? I hope that you guys got something out of your reading. 27, 27. Much love to you guys. Hi, guys. This message is going to be for all my Aquarius. Hope everybody is doing well. I'm going to try to get through this. If it cuts it off, I apologize. I think I only have 33 minutes. But connection with crystals is what you guys need to do. And January 22 for healing. Um, help you with healing things as well as helping uh, you to receive some sort of energy. But the um, energy of crystals wants to help you with any kind of current situation that you're going through at this time. What other messages do you have for all my... Thank you. And then emotional sensitivity. So it's asking you to honor your sensitivities. It is a gift to us all. This is talking about empathic abilities, connection, more with energies of everything around you, not just people, but those uh, nature beings, fairies, dragons, the trees, the plant beings, maybe even the sun, moon, stars, it doesn't matter. And then connection with your intuition at this time is going to be very heightened. So again, emotional sensitivities may be heightened just because of your intuition being very heightened at this time. I feel like just the empathic ability is is going to be extremely heightened at this time they're saying yes all of them and then shield yourself so you need your shield to shield your aura from any kind of outside attacks from spirit um any kind of like um negative lower vibrating energies you need to protect yourself from so black obsidian black tourmaline or great stones ground yourself uh reach your uh, base chakra or root chakra into the earth at this time but this is about setting firm foundations within relationships careers finances um, anything of that sort but um, using only positive words to determine your outcome and manifest those things into reality and then heart chakra this is saying that something is awakening in your heart chakra at this time that's going to get you deeper connected with love so um, make sure that you're listening to your heart's desires and following them putting time and action into whether it be a job a romance what have you i'm awakening to higher states of awareness i am connected to higher self angels guides source god and i know my next steps i trust this is romantic um Things from your, your romantic partner or if you're in a relationship. I feel best when you're in my arms. I want to spend all day holding you. I miss your touch, your hugs. 
what other messages thank you i'm sorry i'm saying these so fast guys but i don't want it to cut off as i am going through it finances may be a factor i feel like i don't have enough to share with you so somebody is very insecure about whether or not they have enough to bring to the table and then i am different now let me show you i can be who you desire watch and see a new improved version of me and last but not least there's something very unique about our connection. I recognize your energy. We are soulmates or twin flames. I hope that you guys got something out of your reading. Much love to you. Thank you for being here and being a support. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow if this reading resonates with you. Let me know down in the comments. Help this channel to grow by commenting and liking. Um, it would be greatly appreciated. Much love to you guys. Bye.